Welcome back to the channel, people. Sorry I've been gone for so long, but I've been super busy. Super busy. Uh, this video here, I want to show you a couple products I received from Cedar Run Outdoors. Disclaimer, Cedar Run Outdoors is the sponsor of this video. Now, first, I want to start off by showing you guys something I'm really excited about. Is the Chrome S Crank. This chrome finish is pretty darn sick on these lures. Can that focus? Uh, looking at my monitor here, I can't seem to get it to focus. Maybe it's the chrome that's not letting it focus. But these bad boys are pretty clean, pretty sick. My plans with these are to just candy coat it and clear coat it. Maybe a red and a green. I hear bass are attracted to red and green. So one red, one green. We'll see. Chrome S crank, pretty darn sick. Next up is another lure I'm excited about. The flat side crankbait. And I cannot get this to focus. What is going on here? I tested the camera a little while ago and it was focusing very good. Let me see. And I hit the camera. Anyway, guys, it's flat side crankbait. Comes with the coffin bill. So you put this bad boy in after you uh, paint your lure. Good news is you do not have to tape this bad boy up, get her painted, pop this bill in, clear coat it, you're done. And if you use two part epoxy, like the flex coat uh, gel coat here, you don't have to glue this bad boy in. That, that epoxy will basically glues it in itself. So yes, flat side coffin bill. I'm excited to paint this. I, I believe I want to paint this a, uh, uh, what do you want to call that? A golden shiner using the uh, micro scale tips, just the tips. Yes, man, Andy looked out. Everything you see here today come from Cedar Run Outdoors. I said, I think I'll try to do that, Laura. I just showed you in the scale tips. A golden shiner. I'm really excited to use these bad boys. Next up, I don't know what you call this bad boy. but I am calling it the Fat Belly Plopper. I do not know why we cannot get this camera to focus. Fat Belly Plopper, pretty dope. I'm gonna paint everything, but I'm not gonna paint these tails. Might be a little hard for me to paint that tail and clear coat it. But be sure to get you some of these bad boys. Love it. Uh, what else is up? Okay, he sent over. So 
from 2.5s in the Lucky Craft style. This is like a, just a one knocker. Pretty cool. But this is the one I'm really excited about. This is a premium lure right here. It's got a nice, beautiful weight transfer system in it. I don't know if you can see that. But this bad boy probably cast the country mile. And this lure is really clean. Really clean. No hard edges. The bill is just absolutely flawless. You know, some bills, you have to do a little sanding right here little sanding right here but this bad boy is awesome I'm, I'm really excited to paint these bad boys most definitely these also but this one is where it's at right here get you some of these bad boys and this may be my favorite lore of all I wanted these for a long time. I didn't even know they existed until uh, Cedar Run sent them to me. This is a 1.5. Give you a couple seconds to see what's different about this compared to the other 1.5s. You see it? This has no scale pattern. No scale pattern. It looks like it was like tumbled maybe and uh, wore the scale patterns off, which is pretty cool because when you use stencils like this, the uh, pattern shows up a lot better. So this is the one I'm most excited about. I'm, I'm excited about them all actually, but, but this, I've wanted these for a long time. Now I know they exist. All right, what else do we got here? <coughs> All right. Here is a 2.5 largemouth bass stencil. I have this for the S-Crank. Some of you guys may have seen my video uh, when I used it, but these are pretty cool. And I'm, I'm so glad I got this now for the 2.5 uh, Lucky Craft style. They're really awesome. If you guys don't know about these 3D stencils, you're, you're kind of missing out. Especially if you have trouble painting like I do. These come in clutch to, to make yourself happy. You know, you paint a lot of lures and sometimes you're not totally happy with them. But when you use these bad boys, yeah, you're happy. You end up with results like this. I know this lure looks a little hazy on camera because it has a uh, a pearl finish over the top. But yeah, with that large mouth bass pattern or stencil, you get stuff like this. Pretty sick. I can tell you when you get these, what you wanna do is paint you up a lure, just just paint it with your base coat, white or whatever. Make, yeah, do it with white. And then put your, and then put the stencil on your lure. And then press down pretty firm. All right, press down firm. And it'll leave a couple scratches through the paint. When you see those scratches, you know where they came from. And you can sand, sand down the insides. They're a little rough on the inside, but it's a real easy fix. A little bit of 120 grit sandpaper, wrap it around your finger, knock down the high spots, and you're good to go. You ain't gotta go crazy. Just paint your lure, stick your stencil on, press it, and it should leave a little scratch. Well, I'm not saying it should, but it may leave a little scratch. If it leaves a little scratch, sand it down with some 120, 
remember don't go crazy these these are clutch I love them Andy also sent over some creature feature veins I'm excited about these bad boys too Now these, these are made by a popular company over in the UK. You can order these from the UK. I'll, I'll leave links in the description to Andy's website. Uh, if you order these from the UK, it could I ordered some a while back and it took three weeks to a month to get here. If you order these bad boys from Andy, less than a week you'll have them. You see them really good. The veins, awesome. I believe there is one more size. I'm not positive on that, but I, I think there is one more size of these veins. And as far as the uh, scale tips, there are three sizes. This one happens to be the micro, the smallest one you can get. And uh, I've seen some other lore painters use these. Well, I haven't seen them use them, but I've seen the finished product on uh, on this guy's website. Not Andy's, but the other guy. And uh, the scale tips are absolutely the best looking scales you can do. Oh, and did I say they come in three sizes? Micro, medium, and the regular. Get yourself. And another one I'm really excited about is this uh, mesh holder. This is for the 2.5. Pop your 2.5 in there. Use your little clips. Let me wrap it up real quick. I mean, it's so much easier than the normal way. I'm not gonna say normal way because it's not normal for me. I don't do it because it's a pain in the butt. You know, you wrap your lure and then you're fighting. Look, see? Already. Oh, look. <laughs> see what I'm talking about? Yeah, so we, we normally wrap the lure and then we fight to get our little clips on here and then we get them nice and tight and then we're painting the lure now we got so many clips on here, they get heavy and they they wobble around. And sometimes this, your your wrap will shift and kind of ruin your paint job. Not ruin it, but, you know, it, it doesn't come out the way you expect it. But this right here, drop your piece on there, drop your lure in. Throw another piece on here. Make you a nice 2.5 sandwich. And what's cool about these is you can tighten them up. Pull it, pull it. Keep a little bit of pressure on it. But we'll hold this side. But it's so much faster. So, so much faster than the way the majority of us do it. And I said, I don't use wraps too often because they're a pain to use. But with this, it's a breeze. And you don't have to worry about your, uh, your wrap shifting because of the weight of your clips. And it's a lot faster to do. I can't wait to use this. But the sad thing is, as far as I know, this is the only mesh holder style available right now. So if somehow Cedar Run can uh, make them for the S-Cranks and a couple other baits, I'm sure they would sell like hotcakes. So there you have the mesh holder. It's pretty pretty dope.
I, I haven't used it yet. Andy sent me these, gosh. I wanna say a little over two months ago, and I've been, like I said, I've been super busy. Sorry I haven't put out any videos. Now what else do we have here? Oh yeah, I just wanna show you what some of these 3D stencils can do. Here's a crappy. camera I don't know what's going on why is it the old white crappy three D stencils man three D stencils is where it's at I don't know if you can see it but you see those little sparkles in that bill those are the flex coat uh, crystals. Got them all over this lure. The camera does not do this this crystals any justice. I tell you that. But yeah, three D stencil right here. And this is the same stencil as the crappy. This is a uh, pumpkin seed. So if you guys haven't used 3D stencils, get you some. I can make my own 3D stencils, but not like this. The detail that these give you is just amazing. Yeah, like I said, this, this video was sponsored by Cedar Run. I, I'm supposed to tell you guys that. Uh, I think that's like part of a YouTube rule. So that's my disclaimer there that this video is sponsored. Uh, next time you want to place an order with a lure company, a lure blank company, consider using Cedar Run. I mean, it's a one stop shop. I mean, they have lure blanks, uh, they have paints, they have stencils, they have 3D stencils, airbrushes, compressors. It's a one-stop shop. So next time you want to place an order, consider placing your order with Cedar Run Outdoors, man. Thank you for watching. Blind Symmetry, Lore Painting Channel. I'll catch you next time.